Welcome to What Nobody Told Me After 65. Today I want to talk to you about smoking, smoking cigarettes. If you're a senior citizen and you're still smoking, you might want to consider stopping. The active ingredient in tobacco is nicotine. And I want to tell you that nicotine is a drug. And that's why when you try to stop smoking, you have withdrawal symptoms because it's a drug. You have strong cravings. You may feel grumpy or angry, hungry or tired, uh, experience headaches, feel depressed, have trouble sleeping and concentrating. It is a drug and um, it's legal, but it's a legal drug. When you first try to stop smoking, you need help. You need help. Uh, if you've been smoking a long time, you need help. And the first thing you want to do is talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about your uh, medications that you're taking. Talk to your doctor about um, the journey and the experiences um, that you will encounter as you go through the process of stopping smoking. If you have a, um, a smartphone, you can download apps that help you uh, combat smoking. You can ask friends to help you. But first, you want to talk to your doctor. A lot of people worry about gaining weight <laughs> if they're no longer smoking. Um, you're not smoking, so you're eating. Well, the health benefits of not smoking far outweigh gaining a few pounds. You can, I don't want to say always, lose weight. That's, that's a whole nother topic. But there are health benefits connected with breaking the habit. You're going to need support. Your body's going to go through changes. Um, your mental status is going to go through changes. They do have over-the-counter gum, patches, lozenges, all these things you can get over-the-counter uh, to help you uh, as you go through uh, quitting smoking. Cigars, not good. Pipes, hookahs, chewing tobacco, snuff. None of them are safe. Um, they're legal, but they're not safe. Smokeless tobacco causes cancer of the mouth and the pancreas. It also makes lesions in your mouth. I mean, it's just horrible. They wanted us to think that if there was no fire connected to the smoke, it was better for you. It is not. In addition to that, secondhand smoke is horrible on people family members, um, babies, it's dangerous. Even pets uh, have some symptoms of their owners who smoke. You would be surprised. If you're trying to quit smoking, here are some of the benefits you can expect. Your heart rate and your blood pressure will return to more normal levels. That's a good thing. Your nerve endings, uh, they begin to regenerate. You'll have better smell and taste. Your lungs, your heart, your circulatory system, all of that will begin to function better. You know that uh, smoker's cough that we've heard about, that people have talked about? That's a real thing. And it can improve if you stop smoking. Out of breath, can't climb a flight of stairs, can't walk around the block, stop smoking. Those are some of the benefits. Your breathing will improve. And the chances of you contracting cancer will be lower. No matter how old you are, you can benefit from stopping smoking. There are a couple of quit lines, they call them quit lines, 
where you can get on the phone and or a website and get in touch with a trained counselor who can help you through that. One is the National Cancer Institute's Smoking Quit Line. I'll put the information in the comments. Also, there's smokefree.gov. It connects you with your state. Every state has a quit line. I think part of that was when uh, the states sued uh, the tobacco industry um, because they found that their citizens who were getting sick uh, from smoking, it was tobacco related. And so they sued the tobacco companies and took the money that they received in the uh, settlement to set up these different um, hotlines and quit lines uh, to help you uh, with stopping smoking. It might take you a few minutes, a few times to try to quit. It's not going to happen overnight. But it's never too late to benefit from quitting smoking. You can do it. I know you can. There are lots of uh, portals and different websites for information. Um, again, the National Cancer Institute has one. I'm going to post the information. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the National Cancer Institute uh, has a website, and the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute has a website. So, if you're interested in stopping smoking, give it a try. Nothing beats a failure like a try. If you found this information helpful, and I hope you have, and you are interested in leaving me a comment, please subscribe, share, and remember, you don't know what you don't know. Thanks for listening.